to figure out where a letter is located in a word for your drawman game. So let's look at what I've got so far. This cut and paste. There's no need to reinvent this wheel. I have my program loop that will allow us to restart again and again. And I'm calling my setup function. So my setup function is what picked a random word from my list and drew out all of the dashes. What we're going to do now is find the location of the letter that's in the word. So let's just get started. I'm going to create a function here. <clears throat> I'm going to say, I'll call this letter location since that's kind of what it's doing. And I'm going to need to know what the chosen word was in this function. So when I call after I'm done drawing the dashes, I'm going to call letter location function, and I'm going to pass in the chosen word. Because that chosen word needs to be known inside of this function so we can figure out where the letters are. So I'm going to accept that chosen word in here. Now what I need is a variable that will keep track of which position the letter is at. So I'm going to call this um, location. I'm just going to set it to 1. I'm going to show you a new for loop. This new for loop is saying go into this chosen word and look each, at each letter one at a time. So I'm going to say for letter in chosen word. I'm just going to print this variable letters. What I did is I created a new letter or a new variable called letter and that variable is going to be equal to each letter one by one. So we're going to loop through, let's just say the word is hello. We're going to loop through this word hello. We're going to iterate through it. And letter becomes, first of all, letter becomes the H. And then the next time through the loop, the variable called letter becomes E. And then letter will become L. And then letter will become the second L. And then finally, letter will become O, and we're done looping through the chosen word. So let's run this and see what that looks like. So here I printed the variable called letter, and letter took on the G, the O, the O, the D, the B, the Y, the E. So let's do something with that. We're not just going to print each letter. That doesn't really help us. Instead, what I'm going to do, just for this, this is just to help you get thinking about your draw man, you won't actually include this in your draw man program. I'm going to say the letter, and then it'll print out whatever letter we're currently on, is in position number, and then I will make shrink this window a little so I can, you can see it all, and then I will print this location variable. So this is saying the letter, so let's say we're, the word was goodbye. The letter G is in position number one. So let's run this and see what happens. Let's try it again. Replit's having issues apparently. Oh, we got an error. Cannot concatenate a string and an integer. That's because I didn't convert this to a string. Okay, let's try that again. The letter H is in position 1, and the letter E is in position 1. That's not quite what I was looking for. They're not all in position 1. So what we need to do here is after we go through the loop, each time we go through the loop, we need to add one to this location variable. Okay, now if I run it, here we go. Letter H is in position 1, E is 2, L is 3, L is 4, and O is 5. If I say yes, it'll run it again with a different, until we get goodbye. There we go. Okay. You can use some of that in your drawman program.